This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good afternoon. Thank you for choosing News 4. I'm Claire Kelly. Here are some of the stories making headlines. Our newsroom continuing to monitor late, fast-changing developments in the ongoing count of votes in the presidential election. And there are two significant changes as of Friday afternoon we want to tell you about. Early Friday morning, Joe Biden moved ahead in the vote count in the state of Georgia. This morning, he took the lead in Pennsylvania. There are two, those are two of the handful of states that have not been called for either President Trump or former Vice President Joe Biden. Biden also continues to hold on to leads in Arizona and Nevada. All of this as historic numbers of absentee and mail-in ballots are counted. Bottom line here, if these numbers and trends hold, very likely Joe Biden will win the election. Turning now to our coverage of the pandemic in our area, this morning Missouri reported nearly 4,000 new cases, bringing the total number of COVID-19 cases to more than 200,000. The more than 3,900 new cases today is the second highest one-day total for Missouri. The seven-day positivity rate rose to 16%, more than double the national average. Yesterday, the death toll in Illinois surpassed 10,000 people, and the daily number of new cases hit a new high again yesterday with nearly 10,000 new cases. Illinois now considered one of the nation's nine hotspots for infections, according to John Hopkins University. For a quick check of your forecast, we send things now to meteorologist Kent Derhart. Hey everybody, another beautiful day to start off your weekend. Just spectacular out there. The weekend looking very good as well. And we are looking at some cooler temperatures and some rain chances as we get into next week. But today's high 75 degrees with lots of sunshine. Nice warm day. South winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. This is the super predictor late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. I want to show you this because we see these clouds rolling in from the south. Still warm air coming in from the south, but we'll see an increase in cloudiness on Sunday morning and through the day, really. And while it is showing a couple of sprinkles here and there, not much rain anticipated out of this. You could get a pot spot sprinkle, but I wouldn't I wouldn't bank on it, and I don't think it's going to uh, really mess with your day. Uh, we do see de decreasing cloudiness as we get in late in the day on Sunday, but there's more clouds and rain on the way eventually. Uh, this is a tropical depression as of lunchtime today. It will probably strengthen into a tropical storm, re-strengthen, and uh, still Ada. This is moving, uh, we think, toward Cuba. It will move over Cuba as a tropical storm, not a hurricane, so weaker than a hurricane, and probably impact South Florida uh, by late Sunday and into Sunday night for landfall, perhaps in the Keys. Uh, low tree count today on the pollen. It was juniper showing up and a medium mold spore count. 75 today, tomorrow, Monday, and uh, we're talking about, uh, not today, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And you're looking at, again, that increase in cloudiness on Sunday. Very little rain anticipated, if any. 72 with a chance of rain on Tuesday. Hanging on to that warmth for one more day. Then we drop it back into the 50s for the rest of the week. Wednesday, maybe a little morning rain. 59 on Thursday into the 50s on Friday. Have a great weekend. We will, Kent. Thank you. And that is your news for update. Remember, we're always online at KMovie.com and your KMovie News app.